This episode of Imagine It was recorded in front of a live studio audience. Are you kids ready to imagine it? I think they are. Think they are the chief are. scientist at the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson here. What's going on? Well, it is that time of year when you're going to be outside filling the lawnmower, maybe even grilling. Yes. There can be some dangerous situations that can happen with sure, those flammable sure. liquids. Yeah. You know, for instance, over here I've got just, a, just as an example, a tray. I've got a little alcohol here. I'm going to pour it on the tray. Okay. Now you can imagine if you're filling your lawnmower and you spilled something like gasoline you would be rightfully worried about that liquid spill. Yeah. Right, because it's, it's flammable. If you can actually light this on fire, you can see it begins to burn. Right. right. That's what you're worried about. However, the thing you probably didn't think about were the invisible vapors okay. that are moving away from that. So we're gonna, we're gonna move away from that. Here, here's an example, though, when not to use a fire extinguisher. If we were to use a fire extinguisher on this right now, we'd probably launch that liquid spill into our live audience. Oh, my. It'd be a bad thing. Yeah. We're just going to let that um, sort of die out on its own. If, if that happened in your kitchen, in a pot, smother it. put a lid on it. Just smother it. Exactly. You got it. So we're not going to use a fire extinguisher. Now, inside here, I don't know if you can see that, but there's just a little bit of liquid, but there's a lot of vapor. This is hexane. It's very volatile. Changes from a liquid to a gas. The vapors are very flammable. And if I were to try to pour the vapors out, see the liquid stays inside. Huh. So it's really hard to pour the liquid out. What I'm gonna to try to do is pour the vapors into this container. Okay. We've got an ignition source at the bottom. This is kind of like the vapors from your gasoline spill. If uh, your neighbor lit, lit up his grill or your grill nearby your liquid spill of gasoline, those vapors could travel over and ignite. Let's see what happens. So the hexane is heavier than air. The hexane vapors are heavier than air. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get them to ignite inside there. You're gonna see. It's we have some appropriate mood lighting here. We do. Whoa. Yeah. See, and then it catches on fire, and that was all because of the vapors. Right. The heavier than air vapors fell down, hit that candle, and then ignited. And it's a hidden danger. It is. You don't know that it's even happening. I don't know if, if we have enough vapors that we can try that again or not. We'll see. And that's why it's also very unpredictable. You never know. Yeah. Uh, caught fire a little bit. Okay. So. Scientists like to make models, and I want to combine these two things together. I want to combine the liquid spill with the vapor spill. Okay. So down here, I've got a model of your garage, Tony. Okay. It looks at, just like it. At the end, <laughs> there's a tiny little ignition source. That's maybe the pilot light from your stove. Okay. Maybe it's a gas grill. Over here, I've got a balloon filled with, well, with something. We'll find out later. Um, and this represents the liquid spill. Okay, the ramp itself is the floor. Okay. And right here, in this teeny tiny little beaker, I have a flammable liquid. Oh it's, it's hexane. What we're gonna do is we're gonna spill the hexane down this ramp. There's such a tiny amount here, the liquid's not gonna make it all the way to the bottom. The vapors will. Yeah, we've seen what those vapors can do. So let's, all right, well, before we do that, let's okay. tell everybody okay. how they can come see a demonstration like this at the Imagination Station. Here are the hours on your screen. They do the combustion science in the theater. Every day. You Every do combustion. single day. So you can come on down here, bring the kids, and see it for yourselves. Do not try this at home. You can come see the demonstration right here in Toledo. All right, let's and, see how and it's and done. And we talk about fire safety, too. We talk yeah. about how to use a fire extinguisher and things like that. So it's not just about blowing stuff up. It's about a little bit of education as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. This so, just drives the point home. So move over here. I'm going to go ahead and make our spill. I'm going to stand behind you. Yeah, OK. So we've got, <laughs> got the spill going down. The vapors are tumbling down. You should back up a little bit more. Oh, all right. The vapors are igniting, coming back to that balloon. And that balloon was filled with hydrogen gas. Uh, OK. But, uh, but you saw what happened to the liquid spill over here. That's what would happen to you if you were standing next to that. Right. Don't let it happen to you. Absolutely. Use caution when you're out there this summer. and. Use science. Thanks very much, Carl. That's how you imagine it.